What's up, BNP crew? Welcome back to another episode. Thank you for joining. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button because we always upload at random times. Hey, as you guys know, my last upload was a while back. But if you guys look behind me, the RX-7's gone. It's not sold. It's right over here. We try to get like a little wedding thing or a little tarp. And the hell are you doing over here? All right, <laughs> so we try to use, okay. We try to use a wedding tarp to cover our tarp on the golf cart. So now we have more room in the garage and Delaney's over here with just no shirt on chilling because it's a beautiful day outside. So for today's agenda, we're gonna be trying, we're still trying to clean up the shop. We're gonna put the 240 on the dollies the wheel dollies over there because they're not used by the RX-7 anymore. So we're going to move it over to the middle and that way we could get all around it. We still have a whole bunch of stickers to do. Like just the bottom, the whole back, and the rest of the bumper because this, the rear bumper is good. It just needs this part right here fixed. But the other one is missing a whole chunk out of it over there. So we're just going to have to order a new bumper. I can't go anywhere with this dude. But we still got the whole left side to do, so that's why we want to put it on the wheel dolly and move it over to the middle of the shop so we can work all the way around it and get the rear bumper and the rear over fenders ready because we bought all the, the new resin, the hardeners and everything like that to fix the fiberglass parts that have been broken. So. Yeah, stay tuned while we get everything fixed. Good job, Lady. I'm so proud of you. I know, I don't have nothing. <laughs> Just like that. Car's back on dollies now. Let's move it over. Oh, it is. It's like lifted now. All right. Let's see if we can push this thing. One-handed push. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Well, it has to move and it'll adjust. All right. Can do it. I can't do it with one hand. Ready? No. Two. Three. I see stars. Is that one moving? There we go. Oh, yeah. That's so good. That's just pretty. Yep, that's good. Okay. Just make sure we have enough room to work around it. We can push forward. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> So fucking heavy. Oh god. Oh. So. Jesus Christ. Even though it's on dollars, it's still heavy. So. Here we go. So, if you guys don't remember from the last episode, and I was showing you guys on the other side, as I just got the camera all dirty, that right down there. You see the belt coming off the harmonic balancer. So, you know, last time me and Lynn just got everything fixed on the 240. Well, not everything, but at least the cooling system side. But now, now we're having that problem with the harmonic balancer because I replaced it. And I think it's not adjusted correctly or the distance or whatever. So, I had to buy a little micrometer. And now we got to take off the front end again. So, that means redraining the... Uh, uh, um, cooling system again and doing that whole process over. I want to switch it back to water, but Colorado is so bipolar. So one day it could be 80 degrees and then later on that day it's snowing. So I'm not trying to have it at that point where it's water inside of it then it gets really cold because my garage is not very insulated like that. And I don't want my freeze plugs to freeze and crack the block and 
all that stuff I don't want to deal with. So that's why we're just having radiator fluid. Some parts is going to pick up a better, cooler radiator fluid if they have it. Racing radiator fluid? I don't know. But we're going to figure something out. Stay tuned. So this is what we got to do first. I'm going to have to remove the intake from the throttle body. Then I'm going to have to pull off the bash bar. Bolt these two for the hood pans and another bolt here. And the whole front end comes off with the radiator, so it makes it super easy. And I got Lenny over here working on the stickers and pulling all those off. How's that going? Pretty easy. Lines creep while you and me repeat. This bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire So what you saw is that we changed, I changed my mind, and I didn't want to take the whole radiator back off. So we figured we have enough slack in the radiator just to undo the two tops right here, the hood pan, and then what's holding the actual support on that holds the radiator because it comes as like a whole package. And so we just took both of those bolts out, loosened the clamps at the bottom, and moving forward, yeah, it's kind of putting a little strain on this part, but yeah, it should be fine. Which is now we have enough room with our makeshift radiator stand. Yeah, that's pretty legit to get to that harmonic balancer bolt. And so we can measure the distance between it and see if we do need to pull it out or see what's wrong. If we even have the right measurement, so I have to do some research and figure out what the actual distance is supposed to be using the micrometer I picked up and maybe that's the problem you just pull it out just a little bit more and that could fix the whole deal that I got in wherever the micrometer is yeah still not organized so what's new so yeah um since we didn't have to pull like drain the whole system it shouldn't be too hard to bleed it I don't know. We'll we'll see when we get there. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, so for a little bit of research, we found uh, we found out where uh, the measurement from the crank lip and the crank itself is supposed to be. It's saying the depth of it should be at 0 0.094 inch and 0 0.176 inches uh, the depth, so it can measure out correctly. So now. You gotta pull that center bolt off for the harmonic balancer. Use good old handy dandy air tools and pull it off, measure it with the micrometer, and then we'll see if we have the proper depth. If we don't, then we figured out the problem. If we do, then we, you know, if we're around there, then we probably just, it's just coming off just a little bit every time it starts. So I'm either thinking it's the Tensioner pulley itself is not keeping enough tension on it, so it's making it loose when it first starts. Or, you know, the harmonic balancer is not in the proper spec of measurement. So, we're going to fix that up, see if that could do it. And the sad thing is I don't have, the back to the same thing, I don't have the, the uh, torque wrench that goes up to that high of a, of a torque. Yeah. So... We're going to see if that works. If not, then at least we'll know we're at the proper depth. Then we just see about changing out the tensioner pulley and see if that fixes the problem so the belt can stop slipping off because it's a, it's a brand new belt, but you can already see it's kind of sharing itself on the side. So hopefully, hopefully.
hopefully we can get this fixed. So I'm gonna hand the camera over to Lenny. He's gonna be a cameraman. He's still like, look at this, look at this. The whole door was covered in decals, but now it's almost, it's pretty much done. But we just got the top of it to do and the back. And why oh, you like this? <laughs> and the bumper, the, the little wing. Then pulling it all off should be pretty much done. It should be like peanut butter and chiffy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to flip over. Stay tuned. Mm. You just going to record that part? Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh God. That was so loud. <laughs> I'm doing nothing. All right, you like this? So it's supposed to be supposedly if you get what I what? <laughs> sorry, you're a horrible camera. <laughs> you're like <laughs> it's so it's just it's interesting, man. It's interesting, man. Oh my god! So right in here, let's talk about this lip. This lip needs to either come out or get pushed back in, which I think it needs to come out. So now let's. Get it measured, see if where we're at. All right, guys, so we made a huge mess. We decided just to take their whole radiator off because we were having trouble getting the pulley puller on there. And, yeah, we are just like, we might as well just take it fully off and just re-bleed the system again. But the good thing is, now that, you know, now the whole front end's off, we got to figure out why there's still a power steering leak anyway. So... It was meant to be this way. <laughs> God. Alright, dude. Alright. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, guys. So now it's nighttime. And, but, I think we figured out why the belt was jumping off the harmonic balancer, which is the, ends up, it's the stupidest thing that it was my mistake. So, what we found out, sorry for the bad lighting, but don't have any more lights to go up yet so it was right here on the water pump pulley we just didn't have it pushed back enough where it wasn't falling off the front and throwing the belt off the harmonic balancer so we're going to give it a quick start and we're going to see if it jumps again if it doesn't then we fix the problem then if it does then we're back to square one so yeah we're going to hand it over to Lenny he's going to show y'all what we started Of course. Hold up. Huh? Alright, you can go. It doesn't jump off so that's good so now it's just got to run back to like AutoZone or O'Reilly's and run out the uh, uh, torque wrench that could go up high enough to 240 foot pounds we only torqued it to 150 that's what the max was of mine so yeah then we're going to later on after I could get that torque wrench I'm going to figure out why we have power steering leak uh, got to fill that up and then we could put the whole front end back together then 
re-bleed it. So, I'll call it a success. What do you say? It was a successful day. Fuck yeah. We did a lot of work and we got at least something done. I know. Got a little bit of didn't something even, fixed. Didn't come off a little straight the whole time. Yeah, but I'm starting to hear something squeak, so that could be the actual pulley for the power steering. We're probably going to upgrade to like a... Um, maybe like a billet power steering because I know, or power steering pulley because I know those are just composite plastic and they have a tendency to fail or explode and that would be a bad day going on the track and then your power steering pulley explodes. Yeah, and then we don't have another one. But we're, we're going to cut the video here today and oh, I have to give a huge shout out to one of the supporters to Build in Progress Racing. He wanted one of the stickers and he's already put it on his 240 project, 240 LS project hatchback. And me and him have been talking, he's located in California. If you guys want to follow his build, his Instagram will be in the description below. But his Instagram name is Brother Big King. So Brother Big King. It will probably be on the on the uh, screen and also down below so he has a youtube channel and also an instagram so follow him show him some love check out his build and how far he's coming because he's already back up and running too well his motor's running but i always like supporters of drifting and supporters of our channel so we're gonna cut it here and if you guys like the video like share subscribe it like usual if you guys want to Further support the channel, I do have a Patreon that the link will be in the description below. Anything helps so we can keep on getting the car fixed up and ready to the track and, you know, do some damage when it's not damage to the car, but do some damage when we go to competition. So, yeah. And as always, keep on building and you will see progress. Out. I can't eat my car.